Hmm. Enchantress could be okay. It's possible that I'm 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 being a bit too greedy. It's kind of hard to tell. Warm up. The losing streak was not stunning out well. Yeah, we also lost some health uh, by me. Uh, yeah, I just kind of fucked it up. Didn't have, didn't put in units with one round. I really need to pay attention to that so we can we can save some health here and there. Ah, uh, maybe the 250 health. Also, I'm not a huge fan of the knights. The knights are kind of garbage, and I and I found that out many many times before. I don't like them. Sadly, we can't have both of them. I would love to be, uh, be go. I have to go like uh, double X, double Bloodseeker here, but we can't do that. So I'm kind of committing to this warrior stuff now. Sometimes you need to spend and not focus on keeping your economy bonus. I feel the knights were awful. <laughs> yeah, I know. They suck, but I don't know why, why they suck so much. They have no damage. Then the warriors have damage. And they're also not very tanky, so I don't really get it. No knight units? No, no, no. I'm not really planning on going knights. I just give me more items. I'm not. I'm not ready to go knights again. Am I missing something with the knights? Yeah, the fact that they they take less magic damage too. I think. Yeah, yeah. I don't really like that they need to stand close to each other. Maybe you should have like two knights. You know, two knights, and. Uh, I just had too too many knights. Mm. Let's go Bloodseeker. I just used too many knights, right? Yeah, I think the problem was that I just used too many knights. You may want to use like two knights or something like that, because, you know, if you use two knights, it's kind of like, okay. But the problem with that, that if one of them dies, then they both lose the bonus. So this is an active bonus. If they die, one dies, then the other one just loses it completely. Well, that's not as great. But I don't think you want to go like full on knights. Because they have no damage at all. Get up. No, don't do it. I think you were a little unlucky to die with your team last round. Yeah, I figured that maybe we actually win. But, uh... The problem is we just had no damage. And uh, we, we need to keep in mind that the knights are complete garbage when it comes to that. I think this guy should have the... Oh, axe. Did I sell this guy? I don't know. Hmm... Well, maybe let's go like that. This way we have the warrior synergy. Plus this guy can deal a lot of damage. Well, so can Fiend of Pain. Oh 
Okay, this starting out uh, a lot better. Wait, did I not pick this? Was I not paying attention? How did I get unstoppable? <laughs> Was I not paying attention? But I don't know how I got that, but uh, we definitely need to uh, use that. Slardar? That's better than a tiny. Need to level up, putting Queen of Pain. I don't really like Lina. Sand King can be okay. Holy fuck! Why do they protect my guys? Should I stand on the side? And this is gonna jump in as well. Tiny. pick up Jogger. I'm not sure what I want in addition uh, to the Warriors, but obviously we got a Warrior core now with something. What that something is, no idea. Why do I feel like this, uh, this lineup already has more damage than my previous one? <laughs> what the hell? The one HP Tusk for the win. One HP rank 2 Tusk. Okay, let's pick up PA. Although I maybe we wanna go with Rangers here. I'm just gonna pick up a lot of garbage. And just sit on it. Have a look and see uh what warriors synergize with. Mm. I think I'm gonna go with Hunters. There's no clear option here. The best one I had was I lost the battle versus one dude, but only units of his that survived were the summoned wolf. So I lost, but got zero damage. <laughs> nice. Hmm, actually I don't want that. No! Terrible! Come on, go for some last hits, man. Yes! He saved me some health.
I don't want that. Okay, we're gonna play it super defensively. And Queen of Pain is gonna be like over there. Just in case they jump in. That's not what I want. Okay, fine. Maybe we sell Sand King. Okay, well, I have three warriors, a demon. This guy kind of deals okay damage. Wind Ranger deals okay damage, so... I think we're gonna go six warriors, plus three hunters or something like that. It, it varies. Maybe we're gonna go with, uh, with mages. But I think the the six warrior core is gonna stay. This unstoppable is just stupidly good. So I want six warriors plus something. Just to blow up the world. But the problem with mages that you can't really go with mages unless you also have mana. And this could help with that. Queen of Pain is not something I want long term. I want a Slardar. I don't think I want a Jugger. I have the chance to go double Veno. And actually that could be good because now I'm gonna have Savage. What units are savage? Oh, well, we can have a Lycan. But it, if, I, if we want the savage bonus, then it's it's gonna be Lycan or Venno. But we can go with Lycan. Actually, that would be even better. Dead. We need more damage. Yo. Wind Ranger. Um, I'm pretty sure that I don't want this. Fine, let's just hold. Who's this chump? We're gonna beat him for sure, right? But it's tough because, you know, sometimes you fight against an opponent that's like ridiculously powerful. Other times, not so much. So, you gotta, you know, aim in the middle, you know? You know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, you know, you can't go for the always win strategy, but that's kind of hard to do. You know, like some guys are like, five round winning streak. That's pretty good, but can you really do that? Currently, we lost very little HP, and I'm still hol I'm holding on to a lot of money. I'm basically in the same, I'm basically in the same spot as Mant, and he has... Somewhat comparable. He's going with the Goblin Synergy. I have uh, better cards. Better uh, better units. Slightly. With the latest Slardar upgrade. Do the power shot. Kill them all. Oh, you idiot! <laughs> yes. <laughs> I 
That wasn't the best power shot I, I, I saw, ever. Beastmaster is a, is a hunter too. Maybe I want it. Oh, actually, there's an extra synergy here. I didn't even consider. Beastmaster, you idiot! You ran past two dudes! Look at that! Mant went down. The current top guy is he. But he actually he has nothing. Why is he winning so hard? Oh, because of the Terror Blade. The Terror Blade is, is, is very powerful. But as long as we can take that out. Uh, we go. Pro Warlord is a must pick. He might just need to kick. And X is gonna get extra health. I'll just go like that. Yeah, we don't care about the rest. I'm a little conflicted here because I wanna leave it, leave uh, my my lineup as open as as I, as I possibly can. Because you know, we can, maybe we wanna go in a different direction. But also, you gotta make a decision early on. Well, that, that's that's a good strategy as well, because if you just try to go for everything, then it's not going to work out. At one point, you just got to commit to something. And at, at this point, I'm pretty committed to uh, Warriors. But the backline is just uh, still a bit of a question mark. We got a rank 2 Windranger, but who knows? Maybe it's just going to change. Because we have the Unstoppable, like, Warriors are pretty much set in stone right now. Ooh, Skull Basher. Now, this is the thing I was asking earlier, is that I picked this at some other time, and I don't think it stacks. Yeah, Unstoppable twice. So I, I think we gotta go Skull Basher here. Arc Warden Upgrade. Uh, we can pick one up, but it doesn't really matter. And I'm not just... Maybe he's gonna get the boots. Here would know. Okay, this is not too bad. So the plan is to have six warriors with some backup. I think we're gonna give the troll warlord the basher, and Wind Ranger is gonna get the boots. But again, now we have access to the Keeper of the Light. Do I want to go for that? Probably don't care about this. So we pick up the Keeper of the Light. Actually put in the Keeper of the Light. There's nothing else I need to care about. The problem here is with the Keeper is that by the time this triggers, the fight is... <laughs> Look at that! Uh, kind of proving my point. He didn't even get to start to channel his ability by the time uh, the fight was done. So, you need some way to generate mana. And that with the Wind Ranger actually uh, using the Arcane Boots. So, yeah. Ooh, that's pretty good. So 
I'll maybe kick this for now. not completely out of the question the Keeper of the Light will be used. Holy shit! He has a rank 3 tusk. How did he get it? Well, he's, he's pretty aggressively using his gold, but still. What the hell? I suppose I want to go up to six warriors. It's actually possible right now. Oh yeah, I want a lycan. We're gonna replace this for a lycan. It's actually gonna trigger savage, and uh, and another armor boost, and we want a sniper as well. But can we put an end? No, we can't. Uh, this needs to stay here. This is a pretty good damage as well. 600 damage in a line. If only, if only she aimed it carefully, that would be a lot of damage. Okay. So Mirana is a special hunter. Looks like Pooch uh, hooks the the farthest away target or the target in the in the corner all the time. I don't think we can use uh, these tinies ever. I'm also pretty unlikely that we ever gonna use the Beastmaster too. I don't even have a Kanka. I already... Yeah, I already have enough guys. Savage units, but I only have two Savage units. Arcane Boots. Can I just go with that? Lycan. Human synergy is triggered. Okay, I'm in an extremely good position. I should have used Mirana, right? Yeah, Keeper of the Light is really struggling. But the good news is that I basically have a unit that does nothing. And even despite that, we are winning pretty hard. I need to go up to 9 right away. So we can have uh, 3 hunters in there. And this is probably not a hunter I want, ever. I can sell that. I'm not sure if you want the keeper ever. Uh, Bin Ranger... Fine. I'm just gonna start rushing toward uh, level 9. I'm hoping for an, a Naga. 
Oh, Tide Hunter. Tide Hunter Medusa. That's what we need, right? So we're gonna use these, but not use the Drow Ranger and the Beastmaster. Actually, wait. We're not gonna use all of these. It's gonna be Vind Ranger, Mirana, Tide Hunter, Medusa. Maybe not Sniper. Okay, Disruptor. Oh my god, actually viped us. He has five warriors with a bunch of uh, random high rank backup for it. And with that he took the lead. Eight guys for Martin. But we didn't run into any uh, mages yet, but if we did, then we gotta have some magic immunity because of the scales. Need an extra hunter. Ooh, double Medusa? Uh, I, I guess so. Let's put that over there. Let's give that to the Medusa for now. And just wait. The Medusa hits three targets, which is pretty sweet. Oh. Okay. So, one more level. And we gotta be in an excellent spot. I don't care about the Dragon Knight. This goes over there. Good. Right, Hunter and Medusa is an amazing combo. Yeah. The only thing I... Well, I, I'm not sitting on a, like, uh, a lot of money. I'm doing great. And these guys are like desperate. They're spending their money. This, this looks excellent. But maybe... Right, mages. All units are cheaper. Well, that could be still relevant, right? Yeah, I'm gonna buy units, for sure. Oh, look at that! Three units! Kanka. We can't really use Kanka here, can we? Well, I'm gonna pick up my three Kanka. Medusa upgrades. Great. Oh, Warlord. Ranger. I'm gonna start to aggro because these guys are, are struggling. And if I went, went up a level, then it's actually gonna... Right, this is the right call. No, this is the right call. We can level up later. Oh, 
don't know if two unstoppable items stack. Uh, stack. I, I tried it. It very much seemed like they don't stack. Is there anything I really want to sell? Well, I'm never going to use Sniper. Might as well go with that. I don't think Slarder is ever going to be upgraded. Yeah, we don't need Sniper. I don't think I need Conquer. Because we need the Slardar. We need this and that, just for the Savage. This guy is not needed. Actually, yeah, this guy is totally not needed. So, he's, he's the one that should be kicked if we get a Conquer too. Oh, this was pretty easy to figure out. I don't really want to take these. Uh, Mirana. Pro Warlord. And I stop getting troll pieces. Another Vin Ranger. Funk is also fairly tanky. He has 10 armor. Which is actually a rarity among uh, warriors. If I need magic immunity, how would I get it? It's the first time I got wiped. If I put in a Slark? Okay, Lycan. And we stop getting Lycan pieces. Uh, no, no, no. Monka I can't invent too far. I need to spread my guys more to not get AoE'd as much. Can we afford to do that though? My backline is kind of weak. Yeah, let, let's try it. Okay, probably we are not getting Doom anymore. Can I get a Kanka? This should be sold. Maybe the Vin Ranger is, uh, yeah, this is a good upgrade path. We just gotta be realistic here. Going to rank 3 is nice, but let's be real here. Will it really happen? Um, I have. Two scaled units, but I think the Sacred Relic... ...on the Naga would be even better. What do you think about this spreading? Should we spread more? Or what kind of spread you, you're thinking about? It's okay. You have two halves. Should I just go for that? Build two boxes on both on it on the both sides. 
this is what I'm this is what I'm concerned with because now my Vindrager got owned. They still won, which is fine. What if I go like this? Mirana. I don't think Lycan is gonna be loving the upgrade. Throw out these double ball uh pile. And I don't think at this point we can really expect much upgrades. I need to level up and probably fight a uh, tide. Okay, pretty good. Seems good. Problem is my magic boots are not that good if I spread so hard. Um, I'm just gonna keep leveling up. Very slowly. And hope to get a Tide. I don't know what kind of upgrades we can have after that. It's really hard to go to rank 3. Seems like all these guys can go to rank 3 so easily. But I, I'm really... I really struggle to uh, get it, usually. Oh, fuck. At least he can only wipe out one half of my army with the Keeper of the Light. This looks good. You would say the positioning matters a lot more than original auto chess. It's not to be underestimated, that's for sure. I I'm a little unsure how to position, though. So It matters, but I'm not sure how to do it. Now, the Ranger actually has a chance of being upgraded. I want a Tide. These guys are getting going pretty hard. Is anybody any good in general? He's, he's kind of slow. That's the problem. A lot of mages are just too slow. And your army gets wiped by the time something happens. Let's go Radiance on Kanka. Uh, cheapo Slardars. Oh, 
tight hunter. That's the one we want. Not exactly how I wanted to position it. But fine. Who the defiance is on the hand using that? But look into it. of defiance that's the one we need to save it It's going a little better. This is a tough, tough, tough fight. Holy crap. But I still have some upgrade paths. But so does he. He doesn't have his 10th unit. I have to say, I kind of underestimated this extra... Well, less golds are one go cheap. Units are one go cheaper, but actually it's really good. Holy shit, that's really good. Okay. No, not sniper. do that. But we got a sp special Wind Ranger now. Oh, just tight things. Oh, he's making some upgrades by the looks of it. Okay, big win. He has 3 HP left. Um. He does have a disruptor, so spreading is definitely a good idea. Uh oh. What was wrong, guys? Oh! <laughs> I lost to him, but he lost to me. <laughs> Gee.